Alright, this is uh, Paintball Bryce back. Got another review for you guys. Um, it's of Sly Profits. They're, it is in an older package. I do realize that. It's an older gen of them. But I've got the I got this at the start of the year, and I have two pairs. Even I had four, and these have just been sitting in my closet for a while. So I figured they're still new. I'll give you guys a review on them, and just gives you another aspect of how, like how I see them and what they look like new. They are black and olive, so it's not any fancy colors. No limited edition. As far as I'm concerned, um, I'm just showing you guys some features here just so you can uh, see that. Uh, you know, they're a nice goggle. I haven't, unfortunately, been able to wear them actually on the field due to like sponsorships, whatnot. Uh, I just, you know, not allowed to. I've never been allowed to. But. They feel really comfortable in your when you put a pair on your head. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is a really big package for what's inside. But it's the way I guess they best seen fit for packaging them. It's they're very nice. Um, nice box. It's hard. You know, your mask can't get touched if it gets damaged or anything during shipping. So I'll just push the box to the side. This is the mask bag you get it in. It's very, uh, you know, you got your sl sly there. It's a very nice mask bag. A lot of mask bags you get, they're not the best. You know, it's they're definitely putting some money into their packaging and whatnot. They want to make their goggles look best, and it's convenient to have. It's a very soft fiber. Uh, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's, it's one of the better mask bags I've seen, fits the goggles well, stuff like that. So here we have the goggles, as you can see, it's all of them black. Um, there we go. And just from sitting afar you can see there is a different tint lens. It's a fade lens, so as you get to the top more it gets darker and then uh, darker until you reach the top. They have a very nice uh, angle of lens on these. So when you put them on, you're getting a very large perspective of the field. And you know, that's a lot of masks are very small and people have uh, problems just with viewing things and turning your head whatnot. You might not see as much as you like to. And a lot of people get uh, tunnel vision when looking through the mask and you focus on that one thing because your mask is just doesn't have the best uh, view. The top frames are hard obviously. Um, the bottom it is soft though as you can see it's very nice it's very breathable but the vents are also on an angle which is a nice feature so if you were to get shot on the side here you wouldn't get as much paint in your mask as it would just go down. The front, very well vented around your mouth area. You're not going to have problems with anti-fog, or fogging, sorry. Even though these lenses are thermal, every sly goggle comes with these faded lenses. So, it's an extra cost you save buying these compared to there's various lens, or goggles systems, sorry, that just come with clear lens. So, you have to go out, buy a fade lens, a thermal lens. A mirror lens, whatever your preference is in. So, you know, that's thirty, forty dollars on a lens. That's a lot of money when you can get something that comes with it. So, attached, you have a sticker and just uh, your instructions. In your instruction, instructions, sorry, um, you have just a lens removal thing. Uh, instructions on how to remove your lens. So as you can see, you have storage, lens removal, cleaning, and then just some picture instructions inside of how to remove your lens, how to remove your straps, just simple things that you may need to know. Um, one of the nice things about these sly goggles is they come uh, stock with 
like it's a two-piece uh, strap, I guess. Uh, it gives you that extra support on your head, so it keeps your mask nice and tight to your face. It also, it doesn't look unstylish or anything like that. Um, they look good. And another thing that a lot of people wonder about when they go to get a mask is the foaming around the face and stuff like that. So I'll just push the strap to the bottom. And here you can see a pretty good view of the inside foam. So this is, you know, as if you were looking through. You have a very nice range of, uh, an, sorry, an angle of view there. Um, the foaming inside is very, it's very soft, which is nice, absorbs a lot of the sweat, so you're not going to have it running in your face, anything like that. It, it pushes well up against your face, so, you know, there's not one part that's not, and it feels weird or awkward or anything like that. And another thing that people have had been having problems with, sorry, I'm having trouble speaking, um, is that the foam ears that come with these. The new version of these um, have removable foam ears, so you can remove them, put them back on if you want. They're very comfy to have on, but people are having problems with hearing on the field or hearing in general and stuff like that. But, you know, if you can hear with them and you don't have a problem with them, you can keep them on. Just, you know, a very simple, simple thing that makes it very comfortable for people. Um, that's, and then the chin, chin strap on the bottom is very nice. It's, you know, a lot of, ma a lot more masks should be doing this because a lot of people are having troubles when the mask, uh, is coming off their head and going up top over their head. With this, it prevents that, can't go up. Just, you know, it's some things like that that makes a mask and its safety features very nice. It is a very sleek mask. It's stylish. Um. They are a newer mask, not as new as, you know, some masks that are have just been released. But anyways, that's, yeah, it's gives you a good perspective of, I think, of the actual pro fits. I'll show you how they look on my face so you can, you know, see how it contours to my face. I, I have a more larger face, so... It'll give you a good idea of if it may fit your head, how it looks, stuff like that. So, uh, just one second here, I'll just change my camera. It, it does contour with your head very nice. The chin strap helps a lot. Um, your chin, it keeps it well protected. It's not going to move anywhere. The double straps help a lot. Just simple things like that. Um, the colors are very nice, the lens, when you look down, everything is clear, and when you look up, it's tinted more than it was, so that's a good feature to have with these. Stuff like that, the soft ears feel very comfortable, and my voice is projecting very well out of the bottom of them. It's, you know, they're very, they're a bigger mask, which, there's a lot of bigger people that paintball with bigger faces, so... It'll help them out. Just stuff like that, you know, all good features they have on a mask. So I'll just go back to finishing up. Alright, so got my camera into place there. As you've seen, you know, they do fit very well on my head. I, have a, I do have a larger head, as I said. Um, they're definitely a nice mask. If you're in the market for getting a mask, they like your needs, just stuff like that. You know, the best thing to do when you're getting, getting a new mask is go to your local field or a friend that has a mask you may be interested in or a mask you haven't tried on and just try it on you know see if see how your chin is don't let your chin stick out too much underneath make sure they fit your head right they're comfortable um, they have what you want in a mask so you know if, it, if a mask is cheaper but it doesn't have everything you want there a mask is one of those things you want to invest money into get what you want so yeah, it's basically uh, the end of this review. Hit the subscribe button up here, comment down there, like over here. That'll be awesome. I'll keep the videos coming just for you guys. All right, thanks.